So here's a quick demo of this Android app called Power Cruise Control. And this app is designed to um, help electric vehicle drivers calculate the range very accurately on their vehicle. Because um, currently the um, display on a Nissan Leaf or a Nissan ENV2 like this, it's known as the, the GOM or the gasometer. Um, it's very difficult to calculate exactly how many miles an electric car will get per charge since it depends on so many factors um, like terrains, um, you know, driving speed, climate control, um, and acceleration, that sort of thing. What this app does is connect to the vehicle via a um, Bluetooth OBD dongle to obtain um, accurate data um, about the, of, of, of the car. So this app knows exactly the state of the charge of the battery, exactly how many kilowatt hours are in the battery pack, temperature of the pack, um, what uh, altitude we're at, and that sort of thing. So, um, so what I'm going to do here is also telling is also telling us our charging rate, which is currently um, 10 kilowatts. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to um, navigate to. We're currently here in Chester Services, and we're going to be going along the notoriously hilly A55 over to um, Bangor in uh, North Wales. So I put the um, where we go into here and go calculate travel. There we go. So it's calculated a route for us there um, along the 55, and we've got here an elevation profile for the route. So it's pretty hilly. We're going to be going um, up to a few hundred, uh, 120 meters in places. So it's given us now a few um, options and a few charge options. And since we're charging, the charge options, um, the charge options appear. Um, so if we um, if we left now and drove at 50 miles an hour all the way, we'd get to our destination with 0.7 kilowatt hours in the battery, um, which is very low. That's about three miles per charge. That's a bit, uh, you know, a little bit too, um, a little bit too fine. Say, uh, we could travel a bit slower at uh, 49 miles an hour or 43 miles an hour then we'd arrive with about 3 miles or 11 miles in the battery or we could charge here for another 3 minutes and then we could travel at 55 miles an hour and arrive, uh, arrive, arrive pretty empty and it gives us the time at destinations that it takes into account um, it's the conundrum of driving an EV do you charge for longer and drive faster or do you charge for less and drive slower because obviously using Driving faster uses a lot more energy. Um, so we'll give it a few minutes charging here. Um, I'm going to choose to drive at uh, about 50 miles an hour because it's pretty uh, um, pretty not very nice weather today and that's generally what the traffic there was doing. Um, but I'd like to arrive with more than three miles left because that's, uh, that's, that's cutting it pretty fine. So we'll wait until that goes up to about 10 miles left which should be in the next uh, five minutes or so. And then we'll... Um, and then we'll head out. Um, so if we just select the 50 mile an hour option now. No, I don't want to set the destination. This is the driving screen. So as we're driving along, this is the driving screen what we see here. Um, it's a little, little car um, and a green and a red section. So the car will move up and down depending on how I accelerate. So as long as I keep the car within the green section, um, we will reach our destination and that percentage there shows us if we're you know gaining or you know if we're going to make it or by five percent in hand or in negative um you know um so we might need to slow down a bit and uh that's our estimated time of arrival driving 50 miles an hour with 0.8 kilowatt hours left okay so just wait a few minutes to finish charging here and then we'll uh then we'll head off